dressed in blue shirts to symbolise the prison uniform Win Tin wore for so many years in jail, they marched to the funeral hall to pay their last respects. Win Tin continued to wear a blue shirt long after his release from jail in 2008, in solidarity with political prisoners still held. Speaking to Al Jazeera in 2012, after the country's first elections in years, he said he was sceptical of the new government in Myanmar. There is little hope for great change. My view was that the new government is also semi-military government. Their mindset and power are entrenched. I believe that there is little chance for major reforms. Win Tin was a co-founder, along with Aung San Suu Kyi, of the opposition National League for Democracy. After the 1988 student-led protests, he was jailed for his political activities. His death will be felt across Myanmar, still adjusting to its new political makeup. To me, the death of Win Tin is like the collapse of a colossal mountain in our country. We can definitely say that the current military-dominated government is still playing tricks with the public and has no desire to have the constitution amended, as our leader Win Tin said. Rights campaigners and politicians have paid tribute to the former journalist who suffered brutal treatment at the hands of the military during his 19 years in jail. Opposition leader Su Chi said he was the pride of the country and pride of humanity. He was Myanmar's longest serving political detainee, but years of imprisonment never silenced his criticism of the country's military rulers. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera.